right, so today we're headed to a Target that I hadn't been to in all over two years, I think. Uh, it's a big Target, so let's hope that we find some, potentially, some more of those amber figures and see what their neck is looking like. Let's go. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's see what we can see. I got steady cam mode back on because it just looks so herky jerky without it. Oh, but the thing is, it's the image is cropped. That's why it looks grainy. All right, well we are at the neck section. Let's look in. Pretty bare bones. I'm wondering if this is just one of their neck sections. I'm thinking this is one of those locations with just a side um, area. What the heck? <laughs> oh wow! I can't believe this is this is just chilling here. Ripley, I found a Ripley. <laughs> you are uh, a purchase. Got some more of these Terminator Dark Fates. No Linda Hamilton. I would totally cop a Linda Hamilton, but they're all Arnold. Which is cool. Just a bunch of Thalog. Thalog. Just a ton of him. He is a new king of shelf warmers. Because nobody wants him. We got some more turtle stuff up here. This is a cool diorama. I think it's pretty neat. I don't know for the price point. I haven't seen too many people picking this one up. Um, but of course, people are. I just haven't seen them. Let's see. We got some more King Kong. Now, these King Kongs are pretty nice. They come with accessories. These don't, which is unfortunate. But I think they come at the same price point. These are also starting to slowly become shelf warmers. Because they're, like, they're not even peg warmers. They're shelf warmers. Because they literally don't even hang on a peg. They're usually at the bottom shelf. Because they're not selling. But I think they're cool. What? A flight stand? Hmm. Or a dynamic figure stand or a flight stand. I definitely need one of these. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. Now we are at the figure aisle. Got our wrestlers. Goldberg. China. Hurricane. We got Triple H. Jeff Hardy, look at that Jeff Hardy, that's pretty nice. Uh, two packs. Check out the two packs. Riddle, I'm not familiar with a lot of these names. I know some people out there definitely are super hardcore about their wrestling figures, but that is just not me. It's it's almost like Pops. Who is this guy? Oh, MFJ, MJF, sorry. <laughs> Dyslexic as hell. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea who that is, but he looks pretty good. He looks very much like his likeness. Yeah, they nailed it. Again, Mattel is killing the game with their facial sculpts. Then we got these Masters of the Universe. Cool. Oh, wow, this is new. Look at this buzz. That is nice. Look at that. Wow, this... As a kid, I was very much so into Toy Story. But this buzz is like... Your dad's buzz. He looks fearsome. He looks ready to kick butt. Wow. That is awesome. Alright. And of course... I wonder if there's any more. I'm gonna look. But it looks like people cleared out most of the clearance items. All right, let's check out the clearance in cap. Actually, before we go there, <laughs> there's another figure aisle, of course. Duh. Oh, look, it's our favorite. These are on clearance at other targets. I don't, I'm wondering if they're on clearance here. It should be like eight bucks. 
There's a bunch of Cyclopses. There's Multiverse of Madness. Again, Hashbro and Mattel with their facial scopes are just incredible. The likeness to the actors is uncanny. More Multiverse of Madness. We got more of our three and three quarters figures. I, l I really do like these. I wish they would go back to the more articulate version from back in the day. I think Hasbro made those. Really nice. Another Electra back there. Alright, we've got our McFarlane figures. And again, here we go. The, I think this is the latest wave to come out and this is what's occupying the pegs. Armored Batman, got him. I know where to get the yellow belt and blue suit version now, so I'm, I'm probably gonna pull the trigger on that one eventually. I think I was able, I think uh, Quake has two as of right now, but you know how that goes. I should have probably jumped on that. Uh, another armor, Batman. Yeah, it's just waiting for that big refresh because it's just duplicate city. And of course, these are going to go in clearance. I mean, nobody's buying these. Uh, Alright, so, kind of a... Uh, kind of light. Four figures today. Alright, now we can make our way to the other clearance. Real quick. More about the bad cycles. I don't have one of these, but I do like them. People were saying that they're a little bit overscale for the figure. Um, that's probably true, but maybe they can be repurposed for a larger figure. We got these by Jada. These are pretty nice for the scale, the detail. Pretty nice. All right, so they don't have the Nano Rides, Batman, but I'm gonna keep looking. All right, I promise we're going to the clearance hall now. All right, this is looking like Clearance City, but maybe it could just be another toy in cap. Of course, all the Eternals, no one's buying, literally. Look at her. This is really sad. Just duplicates. Duplicates, duplicates. We've got our Transformers. We got some three jokers. Hmm. These are these could be the ones that are on clearance. Very well could be. There's another one. Definitely gonna check the price on that one. Don't have any three jokers. jokers. Check the price on these. Okay, so this joker was on sale. The criminal was on sale. Alright, we are, we have arrived, we are here, this cart is blocking me, so I'm going to move it out the way, but let's take a look quickly at what we have here. I don't see that flash. Oh. Still not at the kit. Still not at the kits. Oop. 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 Just Riddler, Riddler, Riddler. Unmasked Batman. They did an excellent job on the sculpt Brad was too. Really good. I think so. Got your Super 7s. A lot of Zacks. Red Ranger. I know these are in $17.99. They can't be. That's just crazy. They are. Wow, I think you got the whole set out here almost. I haven't seen these. That's really cute. I bet these look new. I haven't seen these. Yasuke. I did like the anime. It was a cool anime. Oh. 
Pops. Oh wow. Demon Hunter. Model kits. Selena Kyle. And what do we have here? Hidden in the back. Oh. Just a cop. Just a T1000 cop. And a bunch of figure arts. Figure arts instead of figure arts. Krillin. Nope. All the same. Goku, 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 Goku. All Goku. Okay. Oh man, it's a booby trap. Vegeta. Piccolo. Whoa. Hello. Krillin. Man, I'm not even a Dragon Ball Z person, but I'm a sucker for some Piccolo. Go get a basket. And now we are headed back to the NECA section. Oh, look, another NECA section. So they have three. Whoa. What just happened to be walking past back to the other section. I found another section. Racking and burning, and God, what is this? Pizza monster. Then we got the Coraline, and then we got the Reanimator. Oh man, we got the Pennywise Toonie Terror there. This is even different from the original. Oh. This looks like a deluxe. Then down here we have some plushies. Friends, Don Dracula. Nice kid robot. Yep. Kid robot. Nice. Alright. Ah, ultimate peg warmers. Plushies. Oh. oh. Nice. Tony Terrors. Freddy Krueger. Oh. We got another one. These are $26. And these. I'm starting to see these everywhere now. Spyro. I wonder how much these are. And then we got our figures. These are really nice. I do like the Friday the 13th figures. I don't have any. I'm still kind of on the, the Halloween kick. But maybe I'll get into them. And we got Starfire, Starlight, I think, Starlight back there. Oh, and Homelander. Cool. Homelander. There are more Kongs. Jason Voorhees mask, nice. Big Boy, which would go perfectly with Ripley. And, uh, is that it? That looks to be about it. So overall, I would say this is a very successful hunt. Well, area, and I found some Borderlands figures. These are still $20, but I mean, they're really good. I think the budget for these was a lot higher than your standard uh, seven inch figure, uh, because the paint on these looks like almost like gold label um, DC Multiverse. They just have so much more grime and grit to them. More accessories generally too. I mean, they did an excellent job. That zero figure I have is, I mean, it's a highlight for me. It's really good. 
that we have. Whoa, Cabal. You see, I mean, in comparison, you know, the skin, just kind of pale, not really too much in terms of like dry brushing or anything like that. Not at all. Weapons are nice. I do wish that McFarlane would end up using a, t a little bit tougher plastic on their weapons or accessories because they just bend and warp way too easily. I don't know, but then they can also get brittle, so I don't know. That's probably like, and also for kids, they don't want them poking their eye out or anything, but I understand. I think this is another toy aisle. This target is absolutely stacked, so I was, I was literally on my way out and I found all these John Cena's. Well, it's weird because I can actually see him. I don't know what's up with that, but he's right there in front of me. Kind of makes sense why they charge that price because, I mean, this is like borderline, like NECA quality and all the accessories. Totally makes sense. And the likeness? Absolutely spot on. Maybe clearance. I think these are clearance. I'm going to check the price on those, but that is a cool figure. I mean, you could use that for anything, like if you're doing a diorama, if you just want some like minion characters. Look at all the accessories too. I bet this one's like under ten dollars. I'm gonna check. All in all, very successful hunt.